Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve this problem P2.48 from Hembley's book. So the question is write equations and solve for the node voltages shown in figure P2.48. Then find the value of I1. Okay, let's see. I1 is here. So this is the final goal here. And we are given that this is our ground. So we will have this one. This has a node voltage of 0 because this is a reference point. And we have two nodes here. P1 is this node here. And P2 is this node here. Okay. And maybe let's assume the direction of the current that has not been labeled. So this 20 ohm, maybe let's assume it going down. And this 5 ohm, also let's assume it going down. And for this 1 ampere, I just follow the arrow so this is going up and eventually it will goes to the right right and for this one I also follow the arrow so this will be like this and for I1 it's going to the right okay so we need to do KCL at V1 and also KCL at V2 so we will have two equations okay let's start by using KCL at node v1 okay and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out right and the only current that goes in is this current here and that is one ampere so I just wrote one here and that will equal to the current that goes out there are two currents this is the first but this is V1 minus 0. So we'll have V1 minus 0 divided by the resistance between them, which is 20. Okay, and then another current that goes out is this one. So we will have V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Okay, and we can simplify this, right? Because V1 minus 0 is just... Uh, v1 so we'll have v1 over 20 and for this one i still have v1 minus v2 divided by 10 okay we can multiply both sides by what is it i think 20 is good right so we can cancel out the denominator and on the left hand side we'll have 1 multiplied by 20 is 20 and for this part, 20 and 20 will cancel each other. So we will have V1. And for this part, 10 and 20 will cancel into 2. So we will have plus 2V1 minus 2V2. Okay, we can simplify this. This 1 plus 2 is 3. So we will have 3V1 and then minus 2V2. 3V1 minus 2V2. And that will equal to 20. And I think there is nothing more that we can do from here. So let's just save this equation here as equation number 1. Okay, now we still need to do another KCL. Why? Because we have two variables. So we need two equations, right? To solve that. So let's do another KCL. But this time at node V2. KCL at node V2. Again, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, we have the current that goes in is this one first. And this current is V1 minus V2 divided by the resistance between them, which is 10. Okay, and then this current is goes in, so we will have plus 2 ampere and that will equal to the current that goes out which is V2 minus 0 divided by 5. Okay, let's simplify this part first. So V2 minus 0 is V2 and divided by 5 and for this part I just rewrite it. V1 minus V2 divided by 10 and then plus 2. 
and I think we can multiply both sides here by 10. Right? Because if we multiply it by 10, all the denominator will cancel out. 10 with 10 will cancel each other, so we will have P1 minus P2. And then plus 2 multiplied by 10, that will be plus 20. And then 5 and 10 will cancel into 2, so we will have 2 V2. Okay, let's move all to the right hand side, so we will have minus V1. And then plus 3 V2, right? 3v2 and all of that will equal to 20 and i think we have the second equation here let's number it equation number two okay so far we have this equation number one and this equation number two because this is two equation with two variables i think we can solve it right so we will have 3v1 minus 2 v2 and that will equal to 20 and then we will have minus v1 plus 3 v2 and that also equal to 20. Okay let's multiply this by 1 and let's multiply this by 3 so we can get rid of the v1 here. So we will have 3 v1 minus 2 v2 divided is equal to 20 and this one will have minus 3 v1 and then plus 9 v2 and that will equal to that should be 60 right and that will cancel each other oh i think we will have a bad number here so we'll have 7 v2 is equal to 80 and so v2 is 80 over 7 is that really bad okay but then we also have v1 to find over so from this equation here i can manipulate this so i will have v1 is equal to let's move v1 to the right hand side and 20 to the left hand side so we'll have 3 v2 minus 20 okay so we will have 3 multiplied by 80 over 7 and then minus 20 and i think we will need to use calculator from here yeah I should use calculator from the start but that's okay 3 multiplied by 80 over 7 and minus 20. Okay, that will be 100 over 7. 100 over 7. And this is V1. And that is V2. So we have V1 and we also have V2. But the question is asking about I1 here. So what is I1? I1 is equal to V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Okay, so we know that V1 is 100 over 7. Okay, 100 over 7. And then V2 is 80 over 7. And all of that divided by 10. Okay. And this will cancel into 20 over 7, but 20 divided by 10 is 2. So I1 is equal to 2 over 7 ampere. Or in decimal, maybe 2 divided by 7 is... Okay, let's write it in milliampere, 285.7, okay? 285. 5.7 and the unit here will be milliampere and i think this is the final answer for this problem let's highlight it so this is i1 okay i think that's all thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye